I've always been a super active person and spent most of my life playing soccer. I was even the captain of my college soccer team. During this time, however, my body started acting really wacky. I had super dry eyes, I lost my appetite, and had a sprained finger that wouldn't go away. I went through lots of medical tests with no conclusions until I woke up one morning feeling like there was hot glue in all of my joints. I was diagnosed shortly after with autoimmune disease rheumatoid arthritis, which means that basically my immune system is really hyperactive and overachieving, which actually kind of fits my personality. I was worried my doctor would say I had to slow down, but she said I could stay pretty active as long as I responded well to the medicine and was pretty careful. I decided to try swing dancing since it's easier on my joints and more social than soccer. Plus, I knew Charleston had a lot of kicking involved, so it seemed like a natural fit. I soon became hooked. The music is simply infectious, and I loved the social aspect of dancing. It was fascinating, challenging, and most of all, it was a lot of fun. I traveled all over the U.S. for dance workshops and jazz festivals, and even joined a dance team. Eventually, I even started teaching introductory swing classes, which was an absolute blast. During my five years of dancing, I had many ups and downs managing my RA. Sometimes I've been totally pain-free, but other times I've had major flare-ups in my hands and feet. These make swing dancing more difficult since I'm constantly pulling and pushing on the small joints of my hands and, of course, stepping on my feet. When I'm having a flare-up, I have to be gentle with my body, which can be really hard to accept because I spent most of my life feeling invincible. However, when I think about the amazing people I've met through this dance and all the memories I've had with my dancing friends and musicians, I feel really lucky that arthritis led me to this dance. I also feel fortunate that I can modify my dancing so it doesn't hurt too much when I'm having a flare-up. Basically, I have to make sure I wear really supportive shoes, communicate to my partner if I'm feeling pain, and take lots of breaks if my body needs them. In my opinion, everyone has some challenge in his or her life, whether it's emotional, physical, work-related, or interpersonal and dance can be an amazing stress relief for everyone. And when I walk into a ballroom and ask a new partner to dance, I never know what they've gone through that day. But I find it's amazing, by the end of the night, almost everyone has a smile on his or her face. As Frankie Manning, the pioneer of Lindy Hop, said, it's just a happy dance. With some modifications, anyone should be able to experience the simple, pure joy of this dance, no matter how young or old you are, and no matter what challenge you face. My advice to everyone is this, if you're interested, don't let anything stop you. Get out there and dance.